Hello, in this presentation we will take a look at some multiple choice questions. First question, the time period assumption assumes that a business reporting can be divided into reporting time periods including the following except. We have A. Days, B. Fiscal years, C. Quarters, D. Calendar years, E. Months. If we think about the uh, time period assumption, we're thinking that we are breaking up our data into consistent chunks, the data being something that's going to be uh, continuous, really, the accounting process being continuous, but we, we typically break that up, and that's going to be the assumption that we make. When we break them up, we will usually think that we're going to break that time periods up into years, uh, sounds relevant, quarters, that sounds something that we often do, uh, calendar years, that's generally done, and months, often done. Days, although possible, uh, is probably the least uh, effective here. So you might look at this data and say, hey, I could make a report for a day or something like that or a few days, but it's not the norm that we would have. So uh, if we're looking at all these answers, we'd probably want to eliminate everything from B to E and make the conclusion that A looks like the proper choice. Next question. The 12 month period that ends when a company's sales activity are at their lowest level is A. Natural year B. Calendar year C. Fiscal year D. Accounting period and E. Interim uh, assumption. So if we think about this, we're looking for that 12 month time period that ends when the company's sales activities are at their lowest. So we're, we're usually the 12 months, we're going to think that that looks like some type of year. So if we think about that, we might be able to eliminate, say, interim assumption doesn't look like it probably applies. This is the approach we'd probably go th through to, to see what's going on here. Accounting period, if I was going to look at these, it would probably be something that I would say, hmm, doesn't, doesn't look like it's something that might apply here. We have the fiscal year, the calendar year, and the natural year. It looks like it's between these three to me, so I would probably eliminate those last two. The uh, calendar year obviously is a 12 month period, but it would be defined as the calendar year. And the fiscal year is going to be something other possible, or it could be the same or something other than the calendar. But between A and C, A looks like the, the best choice here because the natural year is the uh, time frame where uh, it, it ends at the lowest level. So that would be uh, something like if we think about a retailer or something like that, we know that. They have certain points of time in their business cycle which are heavier than others and they may want to align their business so that they have a natural year that ends at the lowest level um, and and that might they might make that also their fiscal year but they would make it their fiscal year because it was a natural year next question the length of time covered by a set of periodic financial statements is called a fiscal cycle b natural business year, C, operating cycle, D, business cycle, E, accounting period. So once again, we're looking for the length of time covered by a set of periodic financial statements. So if we go through this, we could think through this. We're going to say the fiscal year. Uh, it doesn't really say a year here. So we're going to say, I'm going to say it's probably, maybe it's not uh, specifically a year. Say that doesn't look like the one. Natural business year. Again, it says a length of time. So the fact that it's not naming a year is making me think, well, maybe these year, when they're saying a year, maybe that's not the one. Operating cycle, a business cycle, and an accounting period. So those are the, the three that we have left. Once again, the question, the length of time covered by a set of periodic financial statements is called. Well, the, the, operate, the accounting period is typically going to be the, the account length of time covered. The operating cycle will give us basically our cycle of operations and the business cycle is going to is going to describe you know our business rotations but the best answer here would be E accounting period as the length of time covered by a set of periodic financial statements.